Hi guys, it's Amanda. What's up? I am so excited for this fall trends video. I honestly started planning it in early August. I wouldn't even say fall is my favorite season, but for some reason this year, thinking about fall is exciting me like never has before. I don't know, maybe I'm just lying to myself and I always get this excited for fall, but it just seems like a lot. And that's partially because there's just some specific things I cannot wait to wear this season. I obviously have my chunky turtleneck sweater on. I feel like it would be wrong if I wore anything else in a fall trends video. Do you know what I mean? Really quickly, if you've been keeping up with all the Copenhagen vlogs, I am now back in Toronto. It is September. My summer travels have come to an end. So all the videos going forward will now be in Toronto, unfortunately. But if you have not seen any of my Copenhagen vlogs, go check those out. I spent the entire summer living in Copenhagen and now I'm grieving that. So although I'm really excited about everything on this list, I do wanna do a massive disclaimer, okay? You don't need all of the things on this list. You don't need anything on this list. Just because we are entering a new season does not mean you need to buy a whole new wardrobe. I'm definitely gonna be focusing more on timeless pieces that you probably already have in your wardrobe and they reoccur every fall season and I'm just excited to reintroduce them to my wardrobe. I definitely urge you to get creative with the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe before going to buy things. And if you are gonna shop these pieces, I definitely encourage you to thrift them. All of them are thriftable. That's how I'm gonna be purchasing these items if I don't already have them. But yeah, it's like we need to just collectively wake up a little bit and realize micro trends only exist on TikTok. Like, do you realize nobody's actually wearing those things? And the minute you buy into them, no one is even wearing them online. So yeah, let fall be the season of investing into timeless classic pieces that you can carry through your entire year's wardrobe. But before I yap away about all the fall trends, I do wanna say thank you to Caseify for sponsoring this video. I'm also gonna show you a few outfits where I style these trends and match them to my Caseify cases and new accessories. So let's get into that before I talk about the trends. This is outfit one, and I honestly feel like this is my fall uniform. I pretty much do a full cream outfit every day during the fall and winter. I love the neutral tones. I also love matching my outfit to my hair. Like when it comes time for big jackets, I will choose a jacket in the exact same color as my hair. So it just blends. I think it's weirdly cute. I'm gonna walk you through all the details of this outfit, starting with the case of my case that I chose to match this cream moment, which is this adorable white and pink case. I've also added a phone charm actually onto my purse. It adds so much to my Hello Kitty charm. I feel like it's just the perfect combo. One thing about wearing a maxi skirt is you don't have pockets. And I constantly thrift in maxi skirts. And if you guys are familiar with my videos, you know I film Come Thrift With Me, so I'm always honestly leaving my phone on top of my purse and like grabbing for it when I need it, which is not the safest thing to do. So this Caseify phone strap is honestly perfect for me. It has a silver heart here and then this extra chain that just hangs down. Having your phone on a strap is just so convenient. You can also attach your AirPod case to the phone strap to have everything in one place. a very casual outfit that I've already worn a lot this year. It's super cozy, but I've kind of elevated it with a little kitten heel with bows on them, which I decided I would match to my phone case. This phone case is so adorable with the pink bows. And then I'm gonna attach this phone strap, which is a bit more heavy duty than the last one. It just hooks into the bottom and then you can adjust the length. So I have it pretty long and it just blends really nicely over the sweater. Okay, this is the last outfit. It's definitely the most formal. I thrifted these pants before I went away for the summer and I didn't bring them away. So now I'm like rediscovering them and I'm obsessed with the pinstripe, the flare. I'm doing the kitten heel again. I've opted for a darker case, this black one with cherries and bows. I honestly feel like this adds a lot to the fit. I've kept the same silver phone charm on my bag. This is just the perfect fit to throw on, but you look very put together. If you 
if you guys are interested in shopping Caseify, you can click my link below to get 15% off for a limited time. Now let's get into all the fall trends. There's so many things on this list and I'm just gonna start off with the most general things that you guys are already probably thinking about. First being maroon. Like, I know this is a color for everybody every fall. It's the coziest color to me. It's so nostalgic, especially in a knit. It's just so amazing. Of course, neutral tones, browns, creams, like I just showed you. And then if you wanna take it to another level, all of those colors, but in a monochromatic look. I definitely am sporting monochromatic looks all through the year, but specifically in the fall and winter, it just hits differently because there's so many elements in your outfit. And I just noticed on the runway this year that there's so many monochromatic looks. It's also just really fun to experiment with monochromatic looks because I feel like you play more into texture and the silhouette versus focusing on color. That's definitely a way you can reimagine clothes that you already have in your wardrobe. And then of course, fur obviously, and suede is a big one this year. I've been seeing so many suede handbags, jackets, ugh, like suede leather gloves as well. And then studs, I'm so into the studs. I've been all through the summer. I feel like that is definitely a trend that has made its way through every season this year, honestly. It's so 2014 and I'm into it. I never know what category to start with, but I think I'm gonna start with shoes because that has to be one of the biggest categories. And I feel like the fall time is when you have the most opportunity to wear your shoes. For example, Uggs, can you wear them in the winter? Like, not quite. The snow will ruin them. And in the spring, the rain will ruin them. But the fall is just dry and chilly and you can wear any shoe without ruining them. So of course, the top of the list, Uggs, major Uggs. I'm talking about the ones that go up to your knee. Like I love the high Uggs. I honestly have wanted Sunburst Uggs for maybe four years in a row. And of course this was the year that I'm like, I'm just gonna buy them, whatever. I've wanted them for so long. And they discontinued, they no longer have them on the website. They have the exposed Sherpa lining along the boot. They honestly kind of look like a cast. They're so chunky around your leg and I just love it. And then something new for me that I'm definitely going to experiment with are loafers. The last pair of loafers I had was in the beginning of high school. And I remember wearing them in high school and everyone was like, what are those? And I'm like, loafers, babe, like you have no idea. When I was in Copenhagen, I saw my dream loafers on the shelf and that's what sparked this initial like, <gasps> Loafers, like how did I forget about loafers? They're by the brand Deco Copenhagen and they have the fringe detail, which I'm obsessed with. And again, I feel like it's just a nostalgic thing for me because my granddad always had fringe on his loafers. So it's not even something I'm questioning. I just need fringe on my loafers. I'm also so into riding boots. I just love this sleek vibe of them. And then especially when they get a bit wider at your calf. Deco Copenhagen also has such an amazing boot and they sell them in a full black colorway. And then also this perfect creamy tan that honestly looks like a Polly Pocket boot. I just love them. I'm really into rain boots. I feel like moving to Copenhagen is the perfect excuse to splurge on a Burberry pair. Like, I don't think that there's anything more classic than a Burberry rain boot. Like, are you actually joking? The specific pair I'm thinking about is just black and then the top has this panel of plaid. I feel like rain boots and riding boots are kind of a similar vibe. You could wear them interchangeably with the same outfit. Leather mules. These were so big in, I wanna say, 2015, 2016. I'm honestly thinking of such a specific pair because when I was 16, I feel like I wasn't at an age where I thought I was capable of wearing heels. Like this was not a trend that involved me, but I definitely saw it and loved it. And I did see a couple of pairs when I was shopping for my loafers recently. I'm also really into the Adidas Taekwondo shoes. Not that this is a specific fall trend, but I almost feel like it's a more wearable version of ballet flats because they're obviously warmer. You can actually wear a sock but they just look like flats and they're probably a little bit more comfortable than ballet flats. I definitely prefer the white pair, but the black is just way more practical and I might actually buy a black pair because I've wanted them for so long. And I do this and then I just never buy it, which isn't a bad thing, but like, I could have been wearing them all summer long. Do you know what I mean? And now they've made it into the fall trends video because I haven't bought them. Let's move on to accessories. The first thing I need to talk about is statement necklaces. I don't have any statement necklaces. All my jewelry is very, I wouldn't say dainty, but it's very classic and silver. So this would be a really fun trend for me to experiment with. And this is probably the most thriftable trend. The thrift store is just full of ugly statement necklaces. I've seen a few people wear statement necklaces on Instagram and I feel like it's just 
honestly an insane way to elevate a really basic outfit. Like if you're just gonna do a white t-shirt and a jean and you throw on a stadium necklace, I can't even believe that this is coming back, but fully 2012 to 2016 is just in right now. And I'm so here for it. Of course, massive bags for the fall are just more practical because honestly your coat gets bigger and there's no way you can put on a tiny shoulder bag. And even if you can, like should you? Because it just does not look right like proportionately. I've been seeing so many suede bags, which I honestly love. Like a chocolate brown suede bag is just so chic for the fall. Leather gloves I'm probably most excited about because I've never owned a pair. I've tried, I think two years ago for Christmas, I asked for leather gloves and I did get a pair and they didn't fit and I returned them and then the pair I wanted never came back into stock. But genuinely, I think leather gloves are the most chic accessory that you could wear. And I think they're gorgeous in every single color. My mom has a pair of hot pink leather gloves that are beautiful. I actually saw this summer, Koss had a lime green quilted leather glove that was so cute. Also gloves and mittens that have the huge fur trim. I might be getting ahead of myself when this is a bit more winter, but I am just like need to plant the seed now because I need to get a pair for the winter. I've honestly wanted them. I think since I went to Copenhagen for the first time because every single girl has the fur trim mittens and they're so huge, like they're so obnoxious and I love them. I also love the full fur mitten too. I think that's so cute. And then, okay, it doesn't need to be said, but scarves. I have a non-existent scarf collection. So that's an area this year that I'm gonna try and work on at the thrift store. I honestly just forget about scarves and I've never really been a scarf girl. So we'll see about that for this fall. Moving on to tops, obviously knitwear, chunky sweaters, turtlenecks. I've been seeing some sweaters with graphics on them, like knit into them. This sweater I got from the brand Lude Cashmere. I showed it in one of my Copenhagen vlogs and it is the coziest sweater I've ever had. I also love when a turtleneck can be kind of slouchy like this. It's just so cozy. Depending on where you live, obviously this might be a little bit too much <laughs> for the fall. And I would say a really good alternative is a thin merino wool sweater. I think it's Intimacy that sells the really thin cashmere long sleeves that just have a really casual knitwear vibe because they're super slouchy, the sleeves are long. I also made a note about American Vintage because I feel like they have every staple that you would need for the fall time. It is a bit pricier. I've never owned anything from American Vintage, but I would love to. They also have really thin sweaters that are just super slouchy off the shoulder. One of those with a statement necklace. I also made a note about Henley's So Comfy, a gray Henley, are you kidding me? And something like that you could get at American Vintage and I'm sure it would have such long sleeves and it would just be the perfect fit, honestly. I definitely lean more into basics for the fall time. Already this season, I've been wearing a black t-shirt like every day, which I've never done before, not even in the summer. And I feel like it's just easier to accessorize, add a scarf, add a jacket. I just feel like at least the beginning of fall, I just wanna be very classic and chic. And it's so easy to do that with basics. Okay, moving on to bottoms. I'm so into pants with massive cuffs. Currently Aritzia is selling a pair of low rise trousers that have a huge cuff that's like built in. And I really want to try those on, but no stores have them in stock. But also just having a classic jean with a huge cuff, it's really practical if you're wearing flats as well, because then your pants won't drag on the floor and get all ruined. I'm so into dark, dark denim. I have one skirt that's dark denim, but it's still not like as dark as it needs to be. I feel like the common thread through a lot of these trends are they're just really classic, timeless pieces. And I honestly feel like when you think about building a capsule wardrobe, fall is the season you should think about because it's mostly comprised of basic pieces that you use to layer. I'm so excited to reintroduce maxi skirts. I haven't worn a maxi skirt all summer, which honestly is probably good for me. Like it was getting a bit concerning all through the winter. All I wore was maxi skirts. I would wear leggings under it so that I would be warm enough, but I love a maxi skirt. I think it's one of the most comfortable clothing items to wear. I actually have a gray sweat skirt, maxi skirt that my brother made me in my closet. I'm like pointing to it, um, that I'm so excited to wear for fall. I feel like that's genuinely the perfect piece. A maxi skirt with Uggs, like it's just, 
perfect, honestly. The maxi skirt that I've gotten the most wear out of is my tan suede one. You could also go really classic with just a black maxi skirt and you can wear anything with it. But I've been on the lookout all summer for a floor length denim maxi skirt that's almost a bit mermaidy. I did find one when I was in London thrifting, but it was just a little bit too big. Like a mermaidy denim maxi skirt with a white slouchy off the shoulder sweater is just the perfect basic outfit. Throw a scarf on, you know? Straight leg jeans. I know we're just inching closer and closer to skinny jeans, which don't get me wrong, I would even argue that skinny jeans will be a trend this fall. I've already been seeing a lot of girls wearing them and they're amazing. Amazing. Skinny jeans and riding boots go hand in hand. A skinny jean with a slouchy off the shoulder, super thin knit sweater, a kitten heel, a big bag, a statement necklace. It's perfect. Okay, let's move on to outerwear. I have to say the first item on the list is what I'm most excited about for the fall, which is bomber jackets. And I already own a bomber jacket, again, in high school, I think, is when I bought my TNA bomber that I rediscovered only recently. And it's super cute, like I think I could wear it, but there are some minor differences in the bomber that I'm looking for now. I love the really, really like bubbly bombers with huge arms. I like when it has an actual collar and not the ridged elastic situation i'm really not into that and then of course silver zipper pockets so although i do have my old tna bomber it's like thin enough to wear under the bomber that i want to buy now you know and honestly i need to get on ebay on grailed just online to find the bomber that i'm looking for unless i find that value village that would be insane you guys would obviously be hearing about that bomber straight leg jean perfect loafer you know, like again, just so timeless and chic, which isn't normally what I gravitate towards, but I don't know what it is this season. I'm just so streamlined, like <laughs> give me a straight jean, like what? Of course, cropped jackets. I actually have quite the cropped jacket collection. I think I should do a jacket collection video actually, because I have so many jackets. Last year, I don't know what it was at Value Village. Every time I went thrifting, I found a cropped jacket and I'm so grateful because I feel like the fall is the perfect time to pull them out. I love to do a super long top with a crop jacket, maxi skirt. It just elongates your torso so much. I'm also so into the leather jackets that kind of have the funnel neck. Definitely Rick Owens vibes, but Denier leather sells one that I found at the thrift a couple times, but never in my size, unfortunately. So we are on the hunt this year. I would love to add a leather jacket into my jacket collection. I just never found the perfect one because I feel like with a leather jacket it's either so right or it's like, it looks so cheap. And then of course, massive fur coats are in every single fall. Again, a thriftable item. Black leather trench coats I've been into for I would say the last few years, but I've never really made moves towards buying one. At the thrift store, going through the leather jackets is just like not the vibe sometimes, especially when they're trench coats. But this year I'm really gonna commit because I would love to have a super chic leather floor length trench coat, like that's insane. The last category I wanna talk about is beauty, which I don't think I've ever done in a trend video before. But of course, like I have to mention the berry lip. I don't do anything special when I do my makeup. I do the same thing every time. Something about the fall is just so inspiring across the board, like clothing, makeup, hair. I honestly feel like the fall feels like the new year to me. There's just so many things that start up in the fall and of course, Summer is done, it's time to really like tap in and just focus more on yourself. And I feel like that comes with switching up your makeup routine, apparently. The Revlon Black Cherry Lipstick immediately comes to mind if you were chronically on YouTube when you were younger. Like, I don't even know how old I would have been, but Bianca8198 <laughs> introduced this Revlon lipstick and it was sold out constantly. I've also been so into maroon nails. I just bought a Revlon nail polish in the shade Valentine, which I think is the perfect maroon shade. In regards to hair, I love to do a really sleek hairstyle when I'm wearing knitwear. Like if my hair was down right now and I was wearing this turtleneck, I would be so overstimulated. So I'm always prioritizing just like sleek hairstyles when I'm wearing fur or knitwear. But on the contrary, loose braids, there's just something about the fall time when you wanna tap into that like farm girl vibe, I don't know. Just give me like two loose braids. Maybe in my next video I'll have two loose braids. I don't know, I've never done that, but I feel like it would be really cute. That's gonna conclude all the fall trends that I am excited about this year. As I mentioned, so many of these pieces are just classics in your wardrobe and reoccur every fall, but I can't help but get so excited about them 
every single year as though I've never worn a maroon sweater before, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to comment down below the trends that you are most excited about this fall. And I will see you in my next video. Cause you know this shit I kick Pimp and keep my pocket stick On you funky shaded bitches Having you hoes clock on my bitches